Hello everyone. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video, we'll be exploring the pulse velocity test which is a great way to assess the quality of concrete. Let's start by gathering the materials we need for this test. The testing apparatus. A reference bar. A spatula and some grease. A pencil and a ruler. Using the ruler, draw two diagonal lines connecting opposite corners on the chosen face of the concrete sample. Choose two faces that are opposite and have a straight surface. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to support this channel. Let's get our hands greasy. Apply some grease to the transducer faces and then use the reference bar to calibrate the machine. For me, I set the equipment to 26.3 using my reference bar, but make sure to check your reference bar and set the machine accordingly. Now, let's test our samples. To ensure accurate results, we need to apply some grease to the transducer, the test sample, or both. This will prevent any air from getting in between. Place the faces of the transducer firmly against the surface of the concrete until a stable transit time is displayed. Then, determine the straight line distance between the centers of the transducer faces. In my case, I used a 150 mm cube, so that's my distance. The time we see on the monitor is in microseconds, and the distance is in millimeters. To find the velocity, we use the equation V equals to L over T, and the unit is kilometer per second. Just simply divide the distance by the time you find from the equipment to find the velocity. In this table, I've written down the results from three samples and calculated the velocity. Based on the results, we can classify the concrete's condition. In this case, the result was over 4.5, so the concrete quality is in excellent condition. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Let me know if there are any issues, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Your support means a lot and gives me the energy to keep creating content. Thank you again.